Okay. We should be live, I think. Let me just check everything's all good. Uh, we're public. We are. Are we all on? Okay, we are good. Right. Hello, YouTube. Welcome to today's video. Um, as you guys know, I do these every Friday. Hello, Kath. Welcome. A few of you are tuning in already. Uh, hello, Karen. How, how's everyone doing? Um, this is going to be a bit of a short video. I am in a slight rush. Uh, I do have an appointment in around an hour, so um, I've got quite a bit to get through, so I won't take up too much time on this. Um, as you can tell from the title, if you guys are new here and what, whatever, um, I do these every Friday. Uh, I go through all the items that I've bought in this week, and then I'll discuss a topic. And this topic's uh, the topic this week is going to be about um, switching up the variety of my listing formats because my sales haven't been as good. Um, I've been having a chat with uh, my mum, uh, and we've been discussing the possibility of having a few items each week that I go on auction to keep the sales driven um, and keep the sales up. Because of that, um, it may well then bring a few more people in to, uh, to my eBay and buy other things as well. So that's that's what I'm going to discuss today. Um, I'm hoping everything's okay. A few people have joined us. Uh, Amelia's in as well. Al's in as well. Um, and play C, bro, you should get a uh, webcam for live stream. I use a Canon and use a green screen too. I don't do live because I like things, because I can't think of things to say on the spot. Yeah, I mean, I think with what I've got at the minute, it's not too bad. Um, I don't really have the money to invest in a, uh, a green screen, uh, a proper D DSLR, but it's something definitely to think about uh, in the future if, if I'm obviously doing this a lot more. Um, but, but yeah, I mean, obviously... Quality wise it's not too bad. I do have a full HD webcam, so um it's it's okay. Uh, hopefully you can deal with it. Hopefully it's not too bad. Right, so um I've done quite a bit of sourcing this week and I have been given a bag of clothes uh and also shoes. So I'm gonna work through those first and show you what I've got. Um most of this stuff is is very sort of low um value items and I may well do bundles on stuff that's something that I'm thinking about as well so I'll get started very fast um, and I won't do too much talking at the start as I normally do um, so I've got some label B um, brand new with tags these have all been given to me by the way um, I've not paid for these these have all been given so there's some blue and I've got a black pair of these as well um, just some label B sort of stretched work pants. Uh, they are brand new with tags and I have a black pair so I'm tempted. They're both in the same size. Uh, I'll show you the black pair now if I can find them. Where are they? Here they are. Um, so yeah, same ones. Label B there with the tags. Um, these are the black pair. I don't know what size they are. But are these size 18 or something like that? Let's have a look. Uh, 16. There are 16, so I may well do a bundle on both of those two. Um, just to probably, I don't know how much label B goes for. Um, it's also simply B. Yeah, I thought it was. That's what I thought it was before. I've not. I've literally not done any uh, research on these really at all. But I thought simply B and label B had something to do with each other. So um, didn't know. I, it's always worth popping that in the title too. Fair enough. Yeah, I will. I will also put that in because obviously people might be searching for. For simply be instead, as you say, this is just a uh, a George Black um, work shirt, size fifteen and a half collar men's. It's new; it's not been worn. You can tell it's very crispy. So um, that again, I might put in with a little bundle of men's stuff that I've got from this as well. Um, I'll show you the other men's bits that I got if I can find them. Um, sorry, I've got so much stuff this week. <laughs> uh, this is a next short sleeve shirt, medium laundered shirt. It says. Um, in this nice sort of checked pattern, which checked tartan style stuff always goes well at Christmas. Um, people seem to wear it a lot more at this time of year. So, again, this is all free, as I say. I'll, uh, I'll talk you through the stuff that I bought as well this week soon. Um, this is another laundered shirt next. It's really quite nice and thick, this one. Good winter size and winter weight, should I say, sorry. Um, and it's just a, it's almost like a denim style shirt, which is cool. So I'll probably do a bundle of those three together as well because they're all the same size mediums probably a 15 and a half collar as well so i might well do three shirts together at say a tenner and hope they go or possibly as i'll talk about in a little bit the off the possibility of maybe doing those on an auction instead hello donna welcome thank you for tuning in um so 
that's the plan with these bits is because they don't owe me anything um and my sales have dropped actually quite a bit in the last three weeks um i may well change the way i'm doing some sales and go for slightly less and get more people in on the back of selling more if that makes sense my apologies for the noise um so i've got three bon marche um jumpers all very similar and actually these go um there was one or two that sold for like 8.99 or 10 pounds um so which is weird really because obviously bon marsh isn't the the best of of makes and i never really pick it up uh, but i've got three of these that's a gray one or a taupe should i say taupe colored one which is actually really nice um and these are all the same size in a medium as well i've got a um darker bluer because i've got a really light blue one here um so i've got a darker of the blue and i don't think these have been worn either they really just the way they've been folded, it's almost like they've just come from the shop. Um, and then this very, this one feels like it's been worn. You can tell the difference in in how it feels. But three of these, all size medium, just nice sort of um, autumn winter jumpers. And I'll probably put those in a, at a bundle as well for for one person. I, I think I may well do that. Um, Hi, Lewis. I missed a start just out of hospital. Unexpected admittance. So I'm sick, bed listening. Oh, I'm sorry, Jay. Hope you. Uh, I hope you get better soon. I hope it's nothing too serious. Uh, I'm glad I can uh, give you some sort of entertainment. Hopefully for for 40 minutes or whatever. Um, this is another bomb marsh top actually, and it's a size 18. Um, so I'm guess I don't think medium is an 18 in bomb marsh. I don't know the sizing, but I, I would imagine an 18 will be a large or an extra large. I would put that in with a bundle of jumpers, um, but. I may well just try and sell that quite cheap, um, maybe at four ninety nine or so um, with postage. I don't know how much t-shirts go for Bon Marsh stuff, but I'd, I, I can't imagine it would be a lot. Um, and then this is just an M&S top, um, basic black tee. So they're all the things that I got uh, clothing-wise from uh, one lady, which was really nice of her um, to give me all that stuff, and she was happy to do that. Um, so that will all go on quite cheap, and I may well use some of that stock as, as a way of, bringing more people in by doing these auctions um hello resurrection welcome uh, she also did have um quite a few pairs of shoes as well which were all in quite good order uh, so i'll just show you those as well quickly now um these are some florence um sort of slip on shoes uh, they are a size seven um and I, I don't know if these are the ones that are part of pavers i'm not sure but uh, i've not listed these ones yet i've drafted the three others and i've actually got them ready to go on today uh so these are again if you can tell here if you look at the bottom they're just really um they're in amazing condition so i don't know how well these will go but they're nice comfort comfort um shoes slip on perfect for like wearing in the house or just if you're nipping out quickly um so i'll probably put those on reasonably cheap i'm not sure how much yet uh, but it'll be likely to be under the 10 pound mark um these are some mia moda uh low for type slip-ons as well hello peter welcome mate um with the floral design on again they've just got this little wed comfort wedge to them if you can see that um and r just in ridiculously good conditions again as well so yeah really happy with those um they are going on at 4.99 because mia moda isn't one of those um makes that goes well and there's only a few of them on ebay anyway so um i've put them on cheap just to sell them basically because they, they don't owe me anything these are some avenue um strap uh slip-ons as well with this sort of really nice floral um bottom to them and it's actually quite nice and thick if you see here um these are again quite a nice slip-on shoe um almost like more like a trainer uh, and they've just got this nice they've got a nice velcro um buckle as well there which is cool so they were good. I think they're on it. I'm going to put those on at 7.99, and the, li the listing's ready for those. And then the last one from this free job lot that I've got of stuff are these pavers, um, Harlequin style patterned uh, loafers as well, which again are really nice. They're the comfort style again with the with the nice wedge to them. Um, and these are a size six. The other three are a size seven. Um, I just thought these were really nice and pavers are a little bit better than the other ones that i've got so i think i've i'll, I'll either go for 9.99 or 12.99 on those because they are quite a nice one and they're in again immaculate condition so yeah with all those i've probably with all those should i say i've probably got quite a uh, quite a good little bundle and i will use that stock i i possibly i'm thinking the clothing stock to to try and do something different maybe have some bundles on there because uh, i've never done that i usually always just list um 
individual items. So I may all use that to do auctions on those instead of buy it nows and also do some bundles of them. Um, so let me start off with everything that I've bought this week now. Um, I have a big pile here. Um, I'm just going to show you some other bits because I've not just got clothing this week. I've got a couple of other bits um, that I've found. So I'll try not to make too much noise with these. Um, but I've got four plates, uh, collector's plates by Royal Worcester. Um, these were for the RSPCA and it's called the Making Friends Collection. Um, these are really cute and absolutely perfect for this time of year. Um, they just, they'll just they make the perfect present for someone um, who has a dog or who's into Royal Worcester collector's plates. So I'll show you just all, all four of them. And yeah, as I say, they're all from the Making Friends Collection. Um, they're all in absolutely, oh God, there's me knocking them. They're all in absolutely perfect condition. Um, there's no chips, cracks, they ring really nicely. Um, so they cost me a pound each. They were on a pound table at one of the charity shops that I go to. Um, and I was thinking about listing them together, but I'm going to do them individually and go for 8 99 ish probably each. Um, there have been a few that have sold for that. I may, I think I've got them on at 5 99 actually thinking about it i was going to i was going to do 899 but i think it's probably best for me to drop the price down and just try and get some sales through um so i'm i'm thinking of doing that because they don't owe me that much and that's really the main point that i wanted to to talk about today um yeah i know the little west it's so cute uh do the test on the soles to make sure they won't fall apart or rubber rock papers are worth more try that 1999 yeah i mean they they literally these are just, I don't even think they've been worn really or if, if if they've been worn they've been worn once or twice there's no real creasing on the on the uh on the shoe at all um so I will do that I may well go for more you um, I don't know too much about uh, ladies shoes at the moment so um do you charge postage on top I do Amelia yeah um I didn't used to until very recently I changed um it was probably a month ago that I started charging postage um maybe slightly more sales were fine afterwards there's been no change in sales it's only the last few weeks that they've just seemed to have dropped off a dropped off a little bit um so that's why i'm just trying to test things out i don't think it's to do with postage i must admit i don't think it is um i also picked up um now i do have uh the half blood prints first edition with the misprint um, that i showed in a previous video that i bought i did also get three harry potter books uh yesterday um Philosopher's Stone, Chamber of Secrets and Goblet of Fire, all in very, very, let me just obviously show you them, all in very, very good condition. Um, a couple of them don't look like they've even been read or opened. Um, there's hardly, I mean, with the Philosopher's Stone, there's literally no creasing on the spine whatsoever. Uh, I'll just try and show you that if it shows up. So that's really good. Um, they cost a pound. It was 50p each or three for a pound. Unfortunately, I had three. So I'm trying. I just need um, Deathly Hallows uh, and Prisoner of Azkaban and Half Blood. Pri no. Order of Phoenix, Prisoner of Azkaban, Deathly Hallows that I need to, to fill a bundle. Um, I know the bundles now are a little bit uh, saturated, but I'm trying to. Um, I'm just trying to get one together. If I can get it for cheap enough, I'll do it. Um, because I do have another uh, misprint half blood prints that I've gotten at the moment in the adult copy, which is a lot rarer. Uh, but it doesn't seem to be selling, so uh, I may well try and just do a bundle with them. So they're the two bits that I got that aren't clothing. Everything else is. Um, and these are all bits that I've bought. So I'm going to start off and show you what I've got. Let me just check if there's anything else in the chat uh al asks uh how much of your sales drop versus the market in seller hub uh, i've not checked actually it's just i can tell they've dropped volumes dropped and also the the amount that i'm getting is dropped it, i had a really good sort of month in october um and i think that might be why i think i did about two uh i've not got the spreadsheet open at the moment but i think i did um around about 2600 ish uh in sales in in october which is very good for me um and it's not been anywhere near as much. I think I've sold about nine or ten things in November, and we're on day ten. So they have dropped. I mean, my my average sales in October per day was three, or just over three. So I need to try and do something about it. I think. Um, Louis, did you see the Harry Potter book on the tat shot and the charity shop price at eighty pounds? I didn't actually know. Eighty pounds. That's mad. What? Which one was it? Was it the? Was it a? hardback first edition or one of the early ones that's crazy 
Um, am I going to do the same with the hardback Harry Potter books? Get under- Hopefully, I may well just chuck in the Half Blood Prince hardback that I've got because I'm thinking that I'm not going to find... Because I think they're best to sell at this time with it being Christmas time. I, I'm just not sure about um, doing a separate one. I don't think I'll find them in time. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, uh, let's crack on. Um, I got... Uh, there's one thing that I've actually got um, as well that I've that's packed away because I've already listed it, uh, but I'll tell you about it. But uh, from this shop, one shop, which always has really nice stuff actually, um, I got this Bieber dress, which is brand new with tags uh, in a milk colour, um, and it's got the embellishments and beadings on. Uh, and they wanted a ten, they wanted ten pounds for this, so I paid up a little bit on uh, obviously last week in terms of buying buying higher priced items. Um, that had a little bit of makeup on it, so someone's tried it on, which is really annoying. Um, and I've managed to get it out, which is fortunate. So uh, we're all good to go with that one. I was going to take it back, but it cost me ten pounds. That one sold in a size sixteen for fifty-one pounds on bids uh, recently, the exact same one. Um, so obviously, we buy it now. I can usually charge a little bit more. Now that was a size sixteen, and this one's a size ten. So I'm probably going to go for forty-nine ninety-nine with that one plus postage. So hopefully, when that sells, that'll be a good sale. Um, that's amazing for this time of year. It's Ten pound Bieber is the top. Right. I know the Bieber stuff goes really well. Um, I know the handbags are really quite sought after. These were a really good find. Um, the same day I picked these up, uh, Paul Smith chinos feels super crisp. Um, there's a, there's it at the back, and they have a nice little tag here as well on the uh, on the side pocket. Uh, they're in a a normal chino camel colour. Uh, what size were? They? I think they were thirty six regular. And they cost me. They only cost me one pound fifty. Um, I'll probably do those for twelve ninety nine somewhere around that mark. I also did. Uh, let me just see if I can get it up quickly. Uh, I know I'm a bit strapped for time, but let me just see if I can get it up. Because I also did get a Joe Brown's dress that I paid up on as well. Uh, where is it? Let's find it. Uh, is it on the other page? Um, here we go. Let me just open this for you. I'll switch across screens for a sec. Uh, okay, hopefully you can hear me all right. So I did also pick this Joe Brown's dress up. This is my list in here, um, and it cost me £15 for this one. Really nice, this. I thought it'd be worth more than it was. Um, here it is on my... I'll show you on a better picture if I can. Here it is on the mannequin. Um, so it's like the patchwork, embroidered style, or almost oriental sort of disigual dress. Um, this is a size 16 monochrome, they call it, mystical monochrome. Um, and I paid £15 for that. So again, I paid up on that one. But um, I'm hoping to make 44 99 on it, which isn't bad at all. Uh, let me just switch back for you. Okay, we should be back, hopefully. Um, so yeah, they're the... They're the things that I picked up all on one day, and I also picked up the plates on the same day as that. And then yesterday, I picked up a load of stuff from my main uh, charity shop that I go to. It had some really good, um, had some really good ones in there. So this is uh, an Adini um, maxi dress. Uh, not the best of makes, but actually some some of them go really well, and it's sort of a nice print. It feels nice. Um, and it was in a good size. I believe it's a reasonable size. What size was it? I think it was a 14 or a 16, this one. Um, so paid 99p for all of these now uh, that I'm showing you. And that one will go for probably around the 12.99 mark, I'm hoping. Uh, so fingers crossed on that one. That was a good pickup. This is a Peruna dress. Uh, it's a size 14 regular. Another long sort of maxi dress with, let me just, where's it? There it is. Um, yeah. Linen, 100% linen, which is not the right time of year for it, but it was night and IP and it was pair Una, and I do like I do like my pair Una stuff, so uh, that was probably a 9.99 item, I'd imagine. Um, just check I'm not missing anything in the chat. Uh, do you have enough weather appropriate clothing? It's party and coats are doing very well. Um, yeah, I do have some bits. It, to be fair, I've not not everything I've got is, um, but quite quite a few bits are. Yeah, so it's. I mean, to be fair. Sales haven't just fallen off completely. My sales, are, I'm still getting a sale a day at least, um, on average. But I think it's just because I got used to having my sales were growing quite a lot. I was used to having that coming through. So maybe it's something to look at in terms of, as you say, the party wear and the knitwear and stuff. I, I have bought a couple of bits that are that are knitwear as well. So 
Um, we'll see how they do. I'm sure it'll pick up soon. Um, this is a Marks and Spencer uh, blazer. Um, what size was this? It is a 14. Again, this was 99p. It's a Marks and Spencer blazer. It was in really good condition. Can't really bat at that. So that was probably a 999er again, hopefully. Um, I would imagine. Now, I picked up these next jeans as well, which are 14 long. Um, and they're just in a, I mean, they're just a straight, almost like a, even possibly a boot cut, but they're more straight, I guess. They don't really go out. Uh, they're in excellent condition. Uh, and they only cost me a pound as well. And I think next jeans in that in the 14 long in the more unusual sizes tend to go reasonably well. So um, I'll probably do those for either 9.99 or 12.99 as well. I think um, maybe I'd pass to the title of the Joe Brown's dress. Yeah, I could possibly do so. Um, I, f I actually found it online, and that's why I use that stock image. Um, and they they their title was Mystical Monochrome, so that took up quite a few of my characters to be honest. Um, this is a Banana Republic, nice, thick, heron bone, um, patterned with velvet trim uh, blazer. It is a size 10. Uh, this is really nice, actually, and this only cost me 99p as well, which is mad, to be honest. 99p is really good. Um, some Banana Re Republic stuff does go well, and I think that was a particularly nice item. Um, so I may well go a little bit more on that. I've not checked that one, but I'd say between the 10 to £15 pounds mark. It's great to see all the resellers on live streams doing well. Lots of stocks. I know it's good, isn't it, Peter? I'm really appreciative of, of everyone coming in and stuff. The support's been mad, actually. Um, I'm now over 200 subscribers, which is crazy to say I've only done, I think this is video seven or eight, which is mad. So, yeah, thank you so much for all tuning in. And it is good to see people um, with so much stock. I agree. Um, this is a George, actually. Just a, This is just a really nice trench coat. Um, camel with the brown buttons uh, it's lined it's a size, I don't know what size it is actually, it doesn't look massive, I'd say maybe a size 8 or 10 um, it's just perfect for this time of year that was a great, great find I think mum found that one when we were in there um, 99p on that as well obviously George isn't the greatest um, make but it's still a brand and that's a really good trench coat so um, I think that one could be a 999 or even maybe a 1299. I'd, I'd, I've not checked any of these in terms of pricing, by the way. Um, so, picked up a mandatory monsoon st uh, dress, which I always do. I always seem to find Peruna, Bowden, Monsoon. I didn't actually find any Bowden this week, but this is a really nice monsoon navy um, floral dress uh, with it's got its nice sheer um, sleeves on it as well, which I thought was really nice. This one, uh, 99p. It's got a little bit of uh, bobbling on the front but really nothing major it'll come out with a brush uh, that was a size 14 that's probably a 12.99 I would imagine for me somewhere around that mark uh, and I paid 99p on that one this is a uh, French Connection pink 100% uh, cotton uh, almost like a biker jacket I guess uh, it's really quite cool oh thank you Peter yeah if you could if you want to leave a like guys I really would appreciate it um, yeah, so this is like a dusty pink French Connection jacket. It's probably not the right time of year for it, uh, but it's 100% cotton, it's FC UK, French Connection, it's 99p. So, um, again, probably looking at £10, hopefully, somewhere around that mark, I would imagine. Um, for that, I've not checked FC UK. I don't think I've... I don't think I've ever checked FC UK. I don't really pick up a lot of the, a lot of the bits, so... Um, yeah, I just thought 99p, it's a, it's a no-brainer on that one. Um, this is a Peruna uh, autumnal style uh, leaf print, um, pure cotton top. And I just thought this one was quite nice, to be honest. A lot of the Peruna stuff that's not, that's a little bit plain and, and maybe not maybe, maybe not cotton, I've not been picking up recently, even at 99p. So um, I thought that was quite nice at 99p. Again, that's probably 7 99 to a tenner mark, I would imagine. Um I think as long as you're willing to vary what you sell, the stock is out there. It's getting it all listed. Uh, it takes, yeah, it is. Um, uh, to be fair, I've been really on it with listings recently. Um, I, I will hopefully be hitting the 250 mark very soon. So I'm really quite happy with how many listings I've been able to get up. Hello, Welsh Thrifter, welcome. Um, but yeah, it's, it is. The, I am a little bit too ruthless sometimes, and I think I'm now start starting to pick up a few more items that. Sorry, that's my stomach. Uh, a few more items that wouldn't necessarily, I wouldn't have necessarily picked up before. Um, and I'm going for, obviously, I'm trying to buy the bigger priced items as well, but I'm maybe 
I, as I say, broadening the range of what I'm buying as well. Um, so this was really, really nice. And I can't believe no one picked this up. This is a monsoon. It's super soft, this. Hello, Lisa. Welcome. This is a feather print. Again, it's very autumnal in its colour. Um, it's got this sort of gold gold little fleckles on it as well, which is really nice. Um, and I just thought, I can't believe no one picked this up at 99p. Um, it feels in unbelievable condition. It's a merino wool blend as well. It's only 5% merino wool, but it's, again, really nice. And 99p, I just thought that was crazy. Um, so I will probably go a little bit higher on that one because it is actually a really nice jumper. Uh, and that was a size 10. Um, probably 14.99 hopefully on that one. Um, this was a again another one that I can't believe no one picked up. Another pink actually. It seems everything that I've got this week's been pink. But um, this is a Hobbs uh, top uh, cardigan. It is silk and cashmere blend, and I don't believe it's shrunk. I know um, I know cashmere can shrink a lot, and that's why people take it to the charity shops. But um, yeah, that was just again Hobbs cashmere silk cardigan at 99p. I just thought that was quite mad that no one picked that up. I pulled it out and I was like, how has no one picked this up? And I checked the care label. And then it said silk and cashmere and wool. I was like, wow, okay. Um, Jay asks, which would you prefer sourcing in charity shops in affluent areas, which will cost more, or sourcing in poor areas, which will be cheaper, but you have the possibility of good buys? Um, I guess it all depends on my mentality at the minute because at the moment I'm more... I mean, I went, obviously... You guys watched the video last week, and I know, Jay, you were in the, the live stream last week. Um, there was a lot of good stuff that I found in the affluent areas that I went to last week. But also, on top of that, I did get some really good deals. So I would probably, at this moment in time, I would probably say more affluent areas. But I'm lucky enough that I've got both here, which is great. I've got both both areas quite close to me. So um, you've two drafts ready to list at the moment. You've uh, 780 to list. It. Wow, Karen, that's mad. I'd love to get to 780 listings. That's a massive amount. Oh my word! Um, I think. See, that's the thing at the moment. My drafts. I'm getting really. I'm getting a lot on um, at the moment. So I'm. I'm doing really well in terms of listing. I think I've got 16 drafts at the moment ready. Um, so, Kathy says she needs to get listing as well. It's lost. You've lost your mojo a bit lately. I'm glad I'm inspiring you. Uh, inspiring you. Or hopefully, it's me that's inspiring you. I don't know if that might be Karen with 780 listings, but <laughs> um, yeah, that's a crazy amount. Uh, this was amazing. I couldn't believe I found this. Um, so, first time I've ever seen Burberry. Um, this is a Burberry men's polo in a size large. It's 100% cotton. Uh, there's the logo there for you. It's obviously got the Burberry inside. It's original stuff. It's in this burnt orange kind of nice, again, autumnal colour, which is good. Um, and this cost me 99p. Not in the best of order. It has been worn. Um, and that may be one. Um, as I've been talking about a little bit through the um, the stream, that may be one that I might do on an auction and set it off at like a two ninety nine um, and see where it goes. I don't know how well Burberry does. I don't think it does as well as I'd have expected it to. Um, but I will probably put that on at maybe a fourteen ninety nine or a twenty quid normally. I want to buy it now. But I'm thinking to try and drive the sales. I, as I say, I've had a discussion with my mum uh, to try and drive the sales more. I may well do auctions of some of those, and that could be one of them because. It doesn't really it doesn't really owe me that much. It's 99p. Um, if I get 2.99 for it, I get 2.99. I'm still going to make a little bit of profit, and that may well bring some more sales in. Hopefully, if I've got a variety of listings on. Um, so the last item I got, um, I paid up a little bit on this one, uh, and this is a dusty pink. Net, uh, not uh, not next. It's M&S. Um, it's pure wool, um, and this is this. Obviously, it's a nice large um, trench sort of pea coat. It's probably not a Pico, actually. It's not small enough, but um, this is in a size 18, and it's new. It's not got its tags, but it's new. And one sold, actually, unbelievably, the other, recently for £45. Pounds, um, and that one cost me a fiver. So that was probably one of the best pickups I've had. Actually, I've just got one more thing to show you. Bear with me a moment. I've just seen it. Uh, I don't think I've shown this on, on stream yet, so just bear with me a second. We've got Laney in as well. Hello, Laney. Welcome. How are you doing? Um, I was getting around £25 for Burberry Pearls a, a few months back. Well, there you go. So I, I don't know whether I'll do it 
were those were those new um, Welsh Thrifter or were they pre-owned ones? Uh, it'd be interesting to know on that. Uh, as I say, it's not in the greatest of order, so I may well give it a wash, see if I can get out some of the fading um, and go from there. But again, Burberry at that pickup, I just thought was it was crazy. Anyway, this is the last thing I'd forgotten. I'd, I'd, I'd also um, I got this. Um, Mum was visiting uh, her dad, so my granddad, and she went to a charity shop and she picked up um, this ski jumper. Uh, this is called like this pattern's called Fair Isle Nordic. If anyone was wondering, it's a, it, it is a in the item specifications as well on eBay. Um, and this is a Nigel Cayburn. I think you can buy this in Debenhams. Let me just try and get that up for you. Um, but it is one to watch out for. And I'm some of the items of Nigel Cayburn go for mad money mad mad money um that one was 4.99 and it's nice and thick it's an extra large that's on for 44.99 i think i've got it on for it's pre-owned um and it has a few watches already so i'm hoping that one's going to go soon um but that is if if you've not heard of nigel Cayborn before um pop it on your notebook list or whatever it is i have a little list of items or brands to look out for nigel Cayburn. it's it's nigel and then it's c a b o u r n um, Julie says, hi Lewis, the video won't load, we'll watch later. No problem, Julie, sorry if you can hear me, I don't know if you can, but thank you anyway for tuning in. Um, hopefully it'll be all right in a little bit. Uh, but yeah, that's one to look out for um, if you can get it at a reasonable price. There are coats and jackets and um, even some of the jumpers that are going for hundreds of pounds on eBay, pre-owned. So one to watch out for. I didn't know about it before now, um, but... Keep, keep your eye out for Nigel Cayburn, I guess. Um, so, yeah, that is everything that I have sourced this week. I don't know how much I've spent. Uh, I spent quite a bit yesterday, and I also spent quite a bit the other day on the, the Bieber dress and also the Joe Browns. Probably around, probably quite a high spend for me this week. Um, I'd say maybe the £60 mark, and I'll be looking to get... Uh, what are we looking at? The M&S coat was a really good one. The Nigel Cabern was good. The Joe Brown and Bieber dress. They're probably the four best things that I've picked up. So they're, on average, the Bieber will be about 50. The Joe Browns, I've got 45. The Nigel Cabern, I've got 45. And the m and I'll probably put around 45 as well. So I'm looking about the 180 for those. And then everything else on top of that is maybe, I mean, you've got the Monsoon top, the Hobbs, um, cashmere stuff as well and then the plates and the books so it's probably it's probably around the 300 pound mark maybe 275 to 300 pound sales there which is really good obviously when they sell um and i guess that leads me on nicely to to what i, I just wanted to touch on slightly at the moment let me just check i've not missed anything um karen says she's worked her butt off the last couple of months i, I i'd say have a little chill as well karen to be honest if you've, if you've got up to 780 listings that's incredible um You've just uploaded a video with how you've changed your stuff. I'll definitely go and check that out as well, actually. It'd be interesting to see. Um, because that, that's one thing I wanted to ask um, Karen, actually, is um, if you've got 780 listings, where where's it all stored? Do you have it all at home or do you pay for storage? I'd be quite interested to, to know. Um, so that is everything that I've got, as I say. Um, I just, I'll just i quickly touch on a few of the sales that I've made this week, actually, first, and then I'll for a few minutes i will just discuss obviously the the idea of having listing formats different to what i've had previously and whether it's something that we could all possibly adopt um so let me just change it over for you okay this should be on my selling screen so i always do this i'm now up to 230 active listings i have 16 drafts so i'm very close to getting the 250 and i've all this stuff most of this stuff is still to go on um let me just come down so we can see the chat um so yeah i'm at around i'm hovering now around the 250 active mark which is amazing um i'm really really impressed that i've got myself up to there and while still selling stuff uh, i will talk you through a few of the nicer things that i've sold this week um and just what i paid for them uh, i know this is something that pe some people enjoy me doing so uh, i quite like to do it as well so this is um a phase eight dress that i bought that I would have shown you actually in my last video. Um, it sold very, very quickly actually. Um, I don't know whether I priced it wrong. I, I got a very good profit on it. I paid £3.90 for this one. It sold for £24.99. I can't really 
say I priced it wrong in, really because I got a very good profit on it. So, but it did sell quickly, which is really good. I was very happy with that one. Um, this I also showed you last week, the Triumph um, swimsuit. I, I believe I showed you this last week. I picked this up for a pound. New with tags, it's over 34.99. Um, really good and that was plus postage as well so I was very happy with that one there are two of my better sales actually this week um, the first of the Star Wars lunch boxes sold um, these have been really slow for me I know someone actually I remember someone saying to me when I bought them because I bought quite if you've seen all my videos I bought quite a lot of these at once um, to try and have, have some multi listings on uh, my eBay um, and someone said they take ages to sell one sold which is great i've had more sales on the money boxes that i've bought but the, one of those are sold so hopefully that'll start the, the ball rolling um once i get some good feedback on that uh this is the jay norman that i also showed you last week they sold for 14.99 i paid 99p for this great sale really happy with that one um this was a v real disappointment because I did show you this last week as well, or it might have been the week before. I paid 99p for this very, it's very vintage Pringle, um, and it had a hole in it. I had to sell it by auction. It only went for £2.20, but I made a bit of profit on it. But that's just obviously one thing for me to look out for is make sure I check everything, especially on the knitwear. Uh, that was probably a £30 um, item before. So it's a shame, but it's one of those things. Um, I sold two Jimmy Neutrons within the space of ten, uh, within the space of a day. I sold this one to an international buyer. It sold, and then I sold. I relisted it, and I sold it straight away again, within minutes of it relisting. It's one of those things. I guess algorithms were in my favour. They both went to nineteen ninety nine. They didn't cost me any money, so that's great. Um, uh, the Hobbs top. This is one that I've had for ages, and I thought it was damaged. Um, uh, but it wasn't. I've washed it and it's all come out and it's fine and it's over ten nights a which is fantastic. I only paid a pound for it and I thought I was going to lose money on it, so I was really happy with that. Um, and last but not least, I also showed you this last week, which was the Gant Lambswool men's top that I bought for six pounds. Uh, this sold for thirty four ninety nine plus postage. So a good week actually in, in terms of some of the higher value items that I've got have sold, which is fantastic. But uh, better th this week's been better than the last two weeks, but it's not been. Um, as good as previous, um, the previous month. So uh, I will just touch on now. They're my sales that I've done this week, as I say. Um, I don't know how much that equates to, but we'll we'll see. Anyway, let me just change back to... Yeah, let me just ch change back to me. So I just wanted to touch quickly before I go um, on the idea of most of my eBay or pretty much everything on my eBay is buy it now. I don't do best offer. I pretty much everything I do is buy it now um, and I thought as I say I've spoken with mum I thought about the possibility of some of the lower priced items that I've got that may well be worth a reasonable amount of money that I only have a one pound investment in I may well um, try and do three or four auctions a week to keep the sales coming through there's some days this weekend or in the, in the past few weeks that I've not had a sale on one day and I'm, I've I can't really afford to do that. Uh, I need to be selling three to, I need to be selling really five to 10 things a day realistically. Um, but obviously the business is still building. Um, and I think one way of doing that possibly may well be to do auctions. I know the prices won't necessarily be as good, um, but I've not got much investment in them. So if I can still get sales driving through, it may well bring other people round to say, oh, look, I, I need to look at Lewis's other items that he's got for sale. Um, and if I can do four, say five auctions a week, for instance, of stuff that's lower priced items that will definitely sell, it's a good way of increasing my sales per week. And it's just something to think about. I'm sure you guys, I'm, well, I know everyone in the chat knows a lot about eBay. Um, and I'm sure this is something that you've already done, but I'm just thinking for me, it's something that I'm, I'm it's, eBay is still pretty new to me in terms of a full-time um, format. And I don't know whether it's something that you guys do, or if it's something that you've thought about doing, I'm definitely going to try it as of this next week coming, and we'll, I guess we'll see where we're at this time next week, and hopefully um, I'll have a few auctions going at that point, and we can see where, where they come up to, but I it's just one thing that I'm thinking of doing. Um, Karen says she still gets the odd zero sale days, they happen, it's looking at monthly, not daily. True, it's just in terms of, it's more in terms of paying yourself, or giving yourself some money, um, if I've got bills to pay and things like that and I'm not making enough 
money to pay them. It's obviously something that I need to think about. And I just thought, um, with sales being down, what can I do to change what I'm, how the sales are coming in? How can I change? What what physical things can I do to change um, the sales? And I think that is a is a variable that I can change in terms of the format of what I'm set. Um, the format in which I'm selling the items that I've got. Um, obviously, we've got buy it now. We've got best offers and we've got auctions. I don't do anything on auctions, so it may well be worth trying it and just see if it brings any more sales. And that's really the the, the sort of reason for um, the title of today's video and also doing this stream. So, um, and try the markdown manager. Yeah, I've also that's also something to think about and, and may, especially for items that I've got that are older stock. It may well be uh, I may well look at that as well. Al, that's a really good a really good idea to be fair. Um, how long have I been eBaying full time? About s since June, so five months. I've done eBay on and off for quite a number of years, but I've never done it in this um, scale. So that's why I'm making these videos, not just to help other people, which I hope they do, but it's also to help myself, to be honest, because um, it's great having the live chat to to, uh, to talk to you guys and just get bounce ideas off you. So Karen says, I take a set amount off my PayPal weekly to cover bills, so even if you have a good week, um, don't pay myself. I went six months worth of money in there first. Yeah, true. I mean, I don't. I keep a lot. I keep a bit of money in my PayPal, and then I'll transfer it out into my account. Um, but I'm just. I think it's just trial and error for me at this stage. I'm in the first six months of doing full time eBay. I'm trial and error in everything, and I guess we can. It's great doing these videos. Cause I can document and see how far I've come, and also how well ideas have worked. So I guess that's that's why I. Uh, that's why I'm doing it. So. So yeah, that is everything. Um, we're, we're just over the 40 minute mark and I've got an appointment in 15 minutes, I believe. So <laughs> I've got to get going. Um, but thank you so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. If you have enjoyed the video, leave a like for me. I really do appreciate all the likes and any comments that you'd like to, to pop in the comment section, please do so. Any questions also pop there as well. Uh, um, and if there's any ideas that you want me dis to discuss, let me know and I'll, I'll look at them for next week. But yeah, thank you so much for tuning in, guys. We've had a really good haul again this week. Hopefully your sales are good um, and you all have a great weekend with sales. I will see you guys next Friday for another video. So yeah, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you guys next week. Bye-bye. Cheers.